Hello techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about some of the major issues we are facing in Automation Anywhere A360. One of them are system allows only a single device to be registered or user is already running a bot on a device and cannot delete a device as it is a part of an active bot deployment. These three issues are majorly appearing in our Automation Anywhere A360 community or your enterprise also, right? How we can resolve these issues, we will see in this tutorial. Step by step, we will go. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Without wasting the time, we will directly go to the solution phase. Prerequisite for deleting your de uh, device from your automation anywhere or restarting your device from the automation anywhere is your postman application api is most important concept in this uh, issues resolve resolving time api is application programming interface we will see how we can connect to the postman your control room and what are all the queries authentication body you have to use tokens you have to use everything step by step we will go and you will get a resolution please do not skip the single second of this video also because very very important steps if you do one time it will be remembered for you always so directly we will go to the next slide first thing you have to open the postman and you have to create your account in the postman and one particular workspace you have to create so we'll do that activity first so i will directly go to my chrome and this is my automation anywhere a360 community version you can try the same thing with your enterprise version also so directly i will go to my postman account so very simple you have to go to postman.com www.postman.com you have to Login to first time you have to sign in or a login whatever you have to do do it and first thing you have to go to the workspace and create your own workspace okay create workspace very simple step by step i'm going if you are already known about api it is well and good otherwise please go step by step okay api name i'm giving as a360 issue resolve so whatever you want you can give it create workspace right very simple so once the workspace is created you have to give some of the information in the postman postman is basically we will use it for the api purpose uh, how we can get the data from the api and uh, database connection between a uh, your uh, uh, api and your database right that connection a bridge between your api uh, is will take care by your postman right name it itself is postman right so directly how we can do once you create a workspace go to the new action plus icon and overview you can just remove and here by default you will get a get option but in this scenario we need to take a post option this is very important okay to delete your device from your uh, current automation anywhere community version or your enterprise everything is same first thing you have to do step by step okay in the method you have to take a post activity then we have a uri so uri is very important here okay just i will copy this uri and i will tell you what you have to do okay just copy and paste it inside url or paste text right here and you can see here we have a control room right just remove that control room okay and go to your control room if you are using a community version you can take directly till digital copy till digital https is not required right already it is there so just i will take it like this community dot cloud dot automation anywhere dot digital and come here and paste it here right after that whatever it is there v1 slash authentication it is same for all so only the community i am taking here if you are enterprise you have to give your company uri right very simple 
so after that you have to give body okay so if you are using community you can directly give your control room username and password if you are using your uh, enterprise version you have to give your admin user and password very simple both are similar you have to just copy i will give this description um in the video description okay how we can take step by step post uri body everything i i'm giving inside the description you can just follow the video and same way you can do it in your system so directly i will go here and i will go to the body and go to the raw and paste it right very simple just i'm taking here so now username your control room username and your password you have to keep it so my control room username is this one ai brahma.com right so just i will copy this one and replace in the double quote so here i need to use a double quote sometimes it will not work by default you are just remove this uh, by default double quote and use it your double quotes okay and here also password and i'm using my password okay cool so now i'm using username and password for my control room right in the body i'm keeping and just after that you have to click on send once you click on the send you will get a token in the body of uh, below of your uh, body and the status should be 200 okay so this is very important status in the api 200 okay means everything is good okay so just go to this token and copy the token so just what i will do just copy and take the notepad and paste it here so only you can keep it a token from here to give one second till here my token is there just copying right so like this you can copy your token after the token double quote whatever things are there okay till user and keep it inside another notepad this is my token very important please keep it somewhere safe after that what we have to do create another post method okay now i am creating again another post method so next is see now till here we have done and we got the token also next thing is we have to get a post method again and this uri we have to use https control room v2 device reset basically we are doing resetting our devices from our control room okay so just you have to copy paste in the post method and same way you have to remove the control room url and take your url from here or you can directly copy how we copied previously right same way and keep it here now ui uri is set right uh, v2 device reset completed now go to the authentication this is very important go to the uh, headers not authentication you can directly go to header and in header you have to use x authorization i will give this uh, particular x authorization and everything uh, in your uh, youtube description just go and check and here i am giving x authorization very simple you can just copy paste and value should be what token you have taken right that is very important just i am taking a value which is available in my notepad okay just copy and come here and in the value just paste it that's it and go to the body and now take the body which is available here okay just copy this body this is very important and paste it in the raw paste it now you have to give the device id this is very important where we will get a device id you can just go to your automation anywhere and go to automation okay just i am logging in again okay whenever the token will generate 
uh, it will log out your automation anyway that is basically now you have to go to administration or oh, sorry manage and devices this is very important you have to go to device and go inside the device whenever you will go inside the device you will get a one number in the top okay 209350 this is my device id it will be different for you okay and it will change again and again it's basically a community version right in your enterprise also you will get a device id now you can go to our postman and remove this device id in the bracket you can mention that particular id what we have copied from uh, automation anywhere community version right or your enterprise version whatever might be and now just click on the send button whenever you will click on the send button see now it is showing to be safe we logged off you here right that is very important because uh, i told no so we have to log out log off this one that is very important now i will just try again it is not working again i will take a token okay basically token is a one very quickly it will expire okay so that's why uh, very quickly we have to do this activity so if it is expire just cop take again the token and come here and uh, in your header just remove and place the new token and now now you can send it so once you will send you will get now 404 no content once you will get 402 or 404 no content or okay that is fine okay now you can go to your automation anywhere and you can check what are all the issues you are facing these three issues everything will be resolved immediately when you do this activity okay all these three different issues it will be resolved okay completely re resolved in your system if you have any doubt please comment on the video definitely i will help you how we can uh, do the postman activity everything i can help you out so if you need more clarity about this uh, steps please comment on the video i will do another video for this i hope this video will help you out how to delete your uh, issues and uh, how to resolve right in your enterprise or in your community if you like you this video please hit on the like button and comment on the video it will be encouraged uh, for me to do the another video for you guys so you can watch all the interview scenarios which are already uploaded in the uh, my youtube channel ai brahma and also i have uh, uploaded some of the concept tip tips and tricks about automation anywhere that also you can watch and there also interview scenarios are included so please watch all the videos and encourage us so uh, i can upload more and more videos in the future thank you very much have a nice day happy learning bye bye